would be recording your sales and recording your purchases, you would then be giving a summary of that into your VAT return. Uh, that would go to the tax authorities on a quarterly basis. That information is then shared between the different member states for validation purposes and anti-fraud measures and for making sure that if you do sell X amount in Lithuania or Latvia that the portion of it that is returned by you in Ireland is paid over to those tax authorities. So it, it makes it more of a guaranteed revenue stream for, for the tax authorities but also for, for yourself as well and that you're on the right side. Uh, of the law there. What I would turn around and I would say about the data side of things, uh, the EU has made um, an awful lot of catching up. Uh, multinationals are footloose, they're all over the place, um, they're much able to operate quicker um, and national laws have basically dealt with laws in the states uh, and not at, at, at a global level. So they were able to kind of move data around quicker than tax authorities. That's now starting to change with uh, the uh, shared information, uh, exchange of information at the moment. So when I now sell in, in Ireland, I would report what I would sell to Belgium. The two tax authorities would be aware of that and they would validate it. You as the purchaser, if I told the Irish tax office I sold 100 and you reported that you bought 80, there's a mismatch. The idea would be that the data would align and it actually throws up suspect transactions straight away because you now have to provide a valid VAT number on your invoice and the VAT number of your customer. And if that VAT number is not valid, it sends up a red flag as well. It also gives the revenues a, a chance to latch into where it is because the VAT number is issued by the tax authority. So if you have a VAT number in the member two country state, they, that means that number has been validated. That means that they actually have gone through a registration process and they know who you are, who's liable, etc. So they are closing down that. And again, the uh, exchange of information is also helping as well. You can get a call very quickly from the Irish Revenue who've had the phone, who had a phone call from the Polish tax office and they'll contact you. You won't get contacted by the Polish directly now and they'll ask for validation of this information as well. What we do is we take your obligation and we make sure that you don't have to worry about it. We'll only inform you once you have to sign a return, to review a return, but we do all the hard work for you. We maximise your recovery potential, we ensure you're staying compliant with the tax authorities at every step of the way. We have day-to-day -day dealings with all the tax authorities in all the various languages and we translate that back to your business language and we ensure that you're kept on the right side of compliance at every step of the way. You absolutely can do VAT yourself, uh, but you will encounter every single stumbling block along the way, uh, trying to deal with a, another language potentially, trying to deal with local representation laws, um, whereas we in Taxby International, that's our core competency, we deal with that on a daily basis. We essentially have VAT registration streamlined to a very quick process, and we also then can do your VAT returns uh, immediately. We also handle uh, your VAT payments as well, where you can actually pay us in your home country, uh, in, in your local currency, and we can then pay essentially within 24 business hours in that local tax office's currency. We have an online tracking system where you're able to log in on your iPhone or on uh, your, your work from home, and it'll give you a real-time status of your compliance obligations throughout uh, the world. Well, one of the advantages of partnering with TaxPack is that we will make you aware of all the challenges and obligations that you have to. Uh, we would make sure to inform you when you have an obligation to register, or when you have an obligation to deregister, or when it's efficient to deregister. Uh, we would let you know if your supplier's invoices are compliant or non-compliant, and as I mentioned, we would maximize the potential there. Uh, we would be able to work with your suppliers to actually uh, recover VAT lost uh, 